Hi, welcome to five ways to approach somebody that you really like. My name is Dawn. I'm a relationship and intimacy coach. And I've had a lot of singles say, how do I go talk to somebody that I don't know very well? Or how do I approach somebody that I really, really like? Stay tuned after the show reel and I will show you how. First of all, before we even get started, let's say this. Try to wait, if you can, until the person you want to approach is by themselves and go up by yourself. Why? Because this will take some of the pressure off of you and off of the other person. Now, neither one of you is trying to impress your friends. There's no expectation. There's no way of being that each of you is trying to present. And so you can come at each other a little bit more authentically. Now, one of the things you can do is ask for help, even if you don't need it. In other words, walk up to them and ask them a question like, hey, do you know where the bathroom is? Or, hey, I don't know what time it is. Do you know what time it is? Now, make sure you're not wearing a watch or that you don't have your, your phone right there in your pocket, right? But ask them a question that allows them to engage with you and be helpful to you in a way where you might also be able to open up a next line of conversation like, oh, awesome, thanks. Hey, have you been here before? Or have you seen this band? Or say something that you feel would engage them in some kind of really easy conversation based on where you are and how often you've run into them before. So make sure you know what you're gonna say before you walk up to them. And I don't mean obsess about it for hours. What I mean is just have a couple of things, a couple of small questions that you can ask them and then approach it with confidence. Okay, that's the biggest thing, especially if you're female, right? Guys are usually the ones that are expected to come up and, and say something or open a conversation with a female that they like. But if you as a woman walk up with confidence and strength and power and actually ask them a question, show that you're engaged and that you're curious about them, that can be a real turn on for guys. They can really appreciate that a woman is taking a first step and is confident enough in herself and who she is to approach him. Along that same line, remember, you're probably making a first impression. So you want to come at it with as much strength. Make sure that you look a little bit nice, right? If you're like all muddy and something from a run and super sweaty and smell, smell funny, you might want to wait till another time to engage that person unless they're all muddy and sweaty from a run as well, right? <laughs> so there's a time and a place for everything. But just know that you are out there to make a first impression. So really come at it with as much grace and strength and power and confidence in yourself as you can. If you're at some kind of event, Another thing you can try is find a way to sit near them. If there's a table, let's say you're at a wedding, sometimes those spots are planned, but sit next to them casually. So an opportunity for a conversation will arise if you're a little bit too shy to actually go up and directly talk to them. So tip number two, then this is really important for us women because I think sometimes we get a little bit shy, we get a little bit nervous about how we're approaching because we're taught so often that we're not important enough or we're not good enough or we have to act a certain way. So approach a guy with genuine curiosity. And guys, this goes the other way as well. This goes for everybody. Actually approach with genuine curiosity. Be interested in the person that you're talking with. Because if you're coming from a place of genuine curiosity and openness, that's going to reflect. It should reflect in your body language. It should reflect in your smile, in your eyes. And it gives much more of a sense of openness, right? And it lets the guy know or the other person know that you're truly curious. It's not just a one-liner. You're not just trying to pick them up, but you're really engaged in trying to get to know who this other person is. Number three. If they ask you a question back, answer it with confidence and passion. In other words, if they're like, so tell me about yourself. Don't say, oh, you know, it's like the normal. There's not really much to say. I don't, I don't really, I don't, I don't do a lot. You know, there's nothing important. So, you know, tell me more about you, right? Nobody likes a person that really doesn't have anything going on with themselves. So talk back about something that you love and that you're passionate about. And 
talk in a positive manner. So I'll be like, oh my God, I'm in this job and it sucks so much and I hate it and all my coworkers are awful and I can't wait to get out of there because you don't want to come across as a negative person. So even if you're having challenges, you can be like, wow, like I'm in this job and it's really hard, but I'm really learning patience. I'm really learning how to get along with my coworkers. I can't wait to get another job, but right now I'm staying where I am until I have an opportunity, but I'm looking for other opportunities. So see how turning something from the negative to the positive, even when it's a challenge, can really open up. And now this person that you're talking to for the first time also knows that you're not going to be a complainer and a whiner if they take it farther, if you start going out on dates and maybe even if you get in a relationship, right? So really make sure that you are shifting your energy, your vibration, so you're in a really, really positive space. Your next tip don't put them on a pedestal. Don't pretend like they're so much better than you are and that you're so lucky to be talking to them, even if you feel that way. Because we are all equal. And if you start putting them on a pedestal and like, oh my God, you're so great. You know, I've wanted to talk to you. I see how smart you are and blah, blah, blah. It can start everything off on the wrong foot. So even in conversation, you can give compliments, but make sure that your compliments aren't putting yourself down in the process. Does that make sense? Next tip, if there are people that come up, his friends, your friends, while you're in conversation, don't ignore them. Right? Wrap them into the conversation as well, because it's really important that even as you're getting to know somebody and even as you approach somebody you like, or maybe you're already on a first date and you're nervous about how to go out on this date, make sure that others feel included. Make sure that you're showing this other person that you're very inclusive, that you're playful, that you're open, that you're not going to block everybody else out just for them. This is going to go a long way because sometimes when we're approaching a potential for a new relationship, for some of us, we're a little bit nervous that the other people won't like our friends or their friends won't like us. And if you start blocking them out right away, that's going to happen. And not only that, these are people that you might care about or that they might care about, or they might just be other people at the engagement, but you want to show that you can have open conversation with other people and be really positive. Be smiley, own your space around you. Like don't come up and be shy and timid. If you, you know, are really nervous, still try to own your space, still try to carry yourself with strength, with purpose, right? Because you are important, right? Your love, you're loving, you're lovable, all of those things. And finally, I don't even know how many keys I've done. <laughs> Make sure you're looking them in the eye or at least up in the face, right? It gets really easy if you're nervous, if you're nervous about what they think about you, if you're nervous when you're first talking to somebody, it's really easy to start looking down or fumbling with something or doing something and not really looking them in the eye. But once again, you look at them in the eye, you hold yourself with confidence, with clarity, with playfulness, with purpose. Be engaged, be curious, be playful. Allow others to come in and really enjoy this. So start playing with this, start talking to random people. And that way, when you do this more often with the person you like, you're gonna be impressed by the results. I'd love to see you subscribe to my other things. I've got a singles playlist and I've got relationship playlists. Looking forward to seeing you on the other side. You're loved, you're loving, and you are lovable.